Hi everyone, I'm back again and today I'm going to be finishing off my folder. So I've only got the inside part to do and then I'm going to put some things into it. So I'm starting off by just doing a bit more collaging. This image here is one from my new Etsy digitals. That's a part of one. I've cut it up just to use it this morning. Know which side I want to use of this one. Maybe I'll use this side. This is a piece from an old chemist journal. I've still got some of that left, so that's good. I can still pull it out occasionally and use pieces of it. I've got this. This is a an old bridge scorecard. I'd like to use it. I don't know if it's going to work though might work up there if I cut the words off, which I didn't really want to do. I think I'm going to have to cut the words off there because I want to put it down. So I'll just cut them off. Just remembering again, if you haven't watched the last video, go and watch that. But I'm just leaving the spines of them because I'm putting washi tape along there. And I will cut around the rest of it to see make it all fit together nicely. That's a bit too small, that little piece there. Here's the other piece of this, I think it's nice and big. Yep. Now I'll just use my craft knife and cut around the edge of this, ink the edges up so that we get a nice finished look on that edge. And I just need to put that washi tape down there. Probably should have put some double sided tape underneath that, but it's too late now, I haven't done it. So hopefully it'll hold. If at any point it doesn't, I'll come back and replace it and put some, some of that down. So this is our little folder. Just need to burnish it because the tape's in there now, and then we've got this little pocket in here. And that will come across there like that and now I want to um, put something on there to hold it all together but I could actually before I do that I need to work out what's going in here and I also want to sew some papers into this center spine so that you've got something to write on and that would make a quite a cute little gift for somebody I'll go and work out what I'm going to put in here now. I've decided to use these tea dyed papers that I did and then in another video I used them and I was showing you how I stamped on them and I was very happy with the results. I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to go and watch that. And I don't want too many because it's not a huge folder, like I've only got that quarter of an inch there. So I don't want it to be super big and bulky. It's just going to be like a little, a little thing. And I think that they would fit in really well with everything else that's in here. I'm being super lazy. I just ran that through with the machine to sew them on there. I could have bound them with some wax thread, but I was just being lazy this morning. Now I've got a little um, brad thing with a decorative part on it. I thought that might look nice there, so I'll put that on there. Just measure up the centre. And just before I stick that down, I don't want this decorative piece to be spinning around on the brad, so I will put some glue down on top of it, just to round the hole, and hopefully that will stick Oh, it should stick this. I've used these before and it seems to work quite well. 
I do that to them. Now obviously because I've done that, I need to put something over the top of this. So I'll just think about what I'm going to do on there for a moment. Now I've got a little loop and I've got some ribbon I can hang off that to tie it up. Just pulled out some Tim Holtz labels. I thought maybe I could put a label on the front cover down here. Oh, this one. I quite like this one. Too big not too small perfect so you could write on here what it's going to be inside or write a person's name or whatever you want to I made this the other day with my Tim Holtz stamps the new ones that I've just purchased and it's going to be perfect Perfect. And I have some ribbon here which I will tie off on here. Just think about how I'm going to tie this up before I always like to tie my ribbon on lately because it won't get lost then when you go to use the journal. I've been wrapping things around, which I do like to do, but then of course you've got to remember that you've got a loose piece of ribbon or whatever it is you're using and you don't want to be losing it. need something to go in here because if you've got a pocket you need to put something in it okay and my stitching's crooked too as you probably can see so I'll put a bit of washi tape down the center to hide my bad stitching I took the light out of my sewing machine when I was doing some filming on it just to stop the glare and I haven't put it back in and Therefore, I'm not seeing what I'm, you know, the line that I'm sewing very well. I should do that today. It's early. You can hear the birds chirping. I'm crafting quite early this morning, so that's why you can hear those morning birds singing. My husband's gone out for an early ride on his bike with a mate. He's... Uh, doing a long ride today 90 kilometers or something they're doing today so he left early and I got up when he left thought I'd get some filming done today get some crafting underway yeah that looks much neater I need a long tag I think in here so I've got a piece of manila folder I'm just going to measure I think I need like a seven and a half inch tag and I'm going to cut one so that I can make my own to fit in that slip pocket there. I'm using an existing tag that was sitting on my table to draw the corners in so that I can at least get this cut reasonably well. Most of the time I eyeball this and just chop it, but I thought today I'd use that tag because it was sitting there. But that's good. Now I need some decoration on here. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll use this. It's a piece of dictionary. And I might just put it all over. Because I think that might look quite cool. So let's put that on and see how it goes.
going to be another lovely day in Brisbane, so the birds are really enjoying it. singing away there in the background. <laughs> there you go, I've done that. It'd be really good if the person that you were giving it to, if you were going to do this idea, is that you chose the letter of their name. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I like that I've got the S there. And then, of course, I need to just give it a bit of an ink around the edges to make it a bit more grungy. Okay. And where's my folder? Here. loosen this tie off a bit because I want it to tie more in the center rather than the edge so I'll make the tail a bit shorter I didn't measure this ribbon I just pulled it out of my stash you know out of my tub of ribbons it was just there at the top and I grabbed it and I thought that um, that would look good on it yeah that's great see and now I've got also some journaling space on the back of it and then I will re-tie my ribbon over again. And then on to my next project. So this is Deborah. Thanks for watching. Cheers.